Hello, my name is Festus. I'm your way again, bringing something as usual, very strong, solid, educative, very short. Please listen. Well, I'm going to look at a very important subject that will benefit you today. I'm looking at the highest spiritual authority on earth. You want to know what that could be, the highest spiritual authority on earth. You see, the highest spiritual authority on earth is not Satan. They are not demons. They are not mere individuals, but the church. The church is the highest spiritual authority on earth. You see, if you possess knowledge, you'll be able to walk spirituality very well. If you lack knowledge, spirituality will cheat you. Everything in life that works revolves around knowledge. There is spiritual knowledge. There is scientific knowledge. There is knowledge in all fields. So everything works by knowledge. And those of you who delve into spiritual talks, like the bloggers, it's very important you possess spiritual knowledge too, so that you don't talk from ignorance or sometimes bring yourself under judgment unnecessarily. Knowledge is everything. The Bible says, get knowledge. You thought you were getting, get understanding. It's in Proverbs. So today I'm going to show you in this very short video the power of the church on earth. Very, I'll read it out to you so that today you will understand the position of the church. Now, there are two powerful authorities on earth. The first one is the first one is the church because the spiritual takes preeminence. The second one is government. Did, did, you, did you understand that before? Follow me, please. Now, in a, in a working democracy, the law court is the highest authority in government in, in any nation. You see, Jesus Christ was talking to Nicodemus. He said, how would you understand spiritual depth if you do not understand the, the natural things, how they work? Because every natural thing has a spiritual equivalent. Everything you see in the natural world has a spiritual kind. That's how these things work. So the court is a mirror of the authority of the church which is in the spiritual side. The court holds authority and power in a, in a working democracy. That no one in a working democracy is higher than the court. Even the president is not higher than the court. Some of you remember the former American president, how the court moved him around. You, you watch it on, uh, on CNN. How... They even issue an order for him to be brought by force to the law court. That's how powerful the court is in a democracy that is working. Where there is, in a democracy that is working, nobody is above it. In fact, after the court has ruled and you go against it, you, you, you will be, there will, an order will be issued against you to be dealt with. That's how powerful the court is. That's on this the physical plane. On the natural plane, the court in a working democracy is the highest authority. But on the spiritual plane, the church is the highest authority. Just like if you hold the court in contempt, that is if you disobey the court, you will face the consequence. The same way if you disobey church, the, the, the church authority, the body of Christ, authority on earth, you have disobeyed God and you will face the consequence. I'm going to show you the, 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 the biblical, the biblical, the biblical 
a, a, a connection to these things. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to leave you very as fast as I can. Now, Jesus Christ was talking in Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 to 17. He says, he was talking about the, how powerful the church is on, on, on earth. He says, if, you, if your brother offends you, settle it with him. If, he, if that doesn't work, bring someone, two people to who would set mediate. And if your brother refused to listen to them, then the highest authority should be consulted. The highest authority. Is that not the way it's done in the physical realm? The court is the highest authority that is consulted in a democracy. And whatever the rule is final. That is how it is in the spiritual realm too. God has put his, these things in order spiritually. So in that, in that passage in uh, Matthew chapter 18, Jesus Christ commanded that if therefore you couldn't settle it at your personal level, then bring it to the church. And if the church intervenes, and the guy is still insisting that he's not going to back down and he's not respecting the rule and, and, and therefore jettisons the church and bushes the church and walks away. Jesus Christ says from that moment, he should be, he or she should be counted as an infidel, as, as an unbeliever, as a hidden. And do you know the consequences of that? The consequences is that the moment you Bushes the church's ruling, just like it, it is done in court sometimes, and people face the consequence. It's, it, it, Jesus is saying that you will equally face the spiritual consequence of bushing the church. One, physically here, it will be treated as an infidel, an unbeliever. And in heaven, God will command his angel to treat you like a vagabond. That explain, uh, explains the reason why some people who have bushitted the church discipline, why they are suffering now, why the heaven is closed on them. They suddenly realize that things are no more working. But instead of them to come to the truth to understand the, how spiritual things work, they don't want to understand. They keep praying prayer without knowledge. A lot of prayers that you pray without acquiring spiritual knowledge of the word of God doesn't work. In this platform, we don't just pray prayers. We, are, we, we, we get knowledge first. It's the most important thing. Is it? No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. That's too primitive. Stop that. Acquire knowledge. Knowledge works everything. In the, I, I started by telling you that everything in this life re, respects knowledge. In science, you don't get results without knowledge. In mathematics, you don't get results without knowledge. In politics, you don't get results without knowledge. In spirituality, you don't get results without knowledge. When you acquire knowledge, you do less gymnastics. That's, the, that's how things work. So you see that the church is the highest spiritual authority on earth and it's God that, constitute, that constituted it. It doesn't matter who are there. Maybe you may just see that people constitute the authority of the church are just little, little boys. They don't have money. Maybe, in fact, they are funny looking guys. It's easy to jettison them. But, <laughs> but behind these funny looking guys, oh, uh, People you tend to be very stupid bunch of people. <laughs> Behind these guys, there's a big man that is standing with them, telling them that I'm with you, even till the world ends. And that big man is Baba God. That big man is Jesus. If you rubbish them, you rubbish yourself. You close your heaven and things will no longer work. That's why in my last video, I said, as a man of God or a Christian worker, if you're under the authority of the church and you're under discipline, please go and serve it. Serve it gladly. Because if you rubbish them because you feel you, you, you went to school or because you feel that you have money, I, I'm sorry. 
you face the consequence. Just the same way a person in the natural, if you, a person who rubbishes the, the, the court, who disobeys the court will face the consequence. It doesn't matter his position in society. In a working democracy, that's how it is. Learn from the example of a former American president. You know how the court tossed him here and there. You know how the court order, ordered him and order him like a baby. You know, that's the example of what I'm showing you here in this spiritual truth. That is the power of the church. Let me now give you scriptural background to this. Paul the Apostle went to one of the branches in the Christian uh, Christian uh, churches those days because we have church in Ephesus, church in uh, 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 Pagamos, church in Tatira, church and, and so forth. It, it, there was an issue, I think in the Corinthian church, there was an issue that was not settled. Paul went there and berated them. He said, you should be ashamed of yourself. That with the authority you have as a church, you couldn't settle this minor matter. And you, you are leaving the church authority to be going to the unbelievers, to be settled, to be settled on matters like this. Paul berated them and said, you don't know the spiritual authority the church possesses. That's an example of the church authority from scripture. And then Jesus Christ, I think that is specifically mentioned in John 20, 23. Jesus Christ said to the church, whoever you have released is released. Whoever you have placed on an embargo is under embargo. If you read it in King James, you may not grasp it like I'm paraphrasing it. In King James, it says, whoever sin you remit or forgive is forgiven. I'm sure you understand what that means. Whoever, who, who, whoever the church has said, we forgive you, is forgiven both in heaven. Meaning that when the church has said, we are holding on you, you have, you have disrespected at the authority. And for this, you're under embargo, you're under punishment. It also means that in heaven, you're under punishment. If you run away to go and establish your church, you'll be under punishment. Your church, that church you establish, and both you and all the members there will be under punishment. That's how spiritual things work. Please get knowledge. And uh, you bloggers who easily run your mouth against the church authority, against the church, the body of Christ on earth, I pity you. I pity you. You lack knowledge. Yo. You don't understand. You don't understand the power, the immense authority and power that God has given to the body of Christ. That is called the church. And when I say the church, it's not a building. It's the, 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 well, when I say the church, I'm not talking about a building. I'm talking about authorities, individuals that have gone through a hierarchy, there are hierarch hierarchical levels of leadership within the church. That is what constitutes the church power and authority. These men and women, whatever they decide as the spirit leads them, is final. You may question it because you went to Harvard, Harvard my foot, or because you have some Naira and Kobo and dollars. He, God, does, God is not bamboozled by those things, so. If you, if you hold the church in contempt, just like someone would hold the court in contempt or disobey the court, you will suffer it. You suffer it. The thing is that your own consequence is more than physical because your heaven will be closed. God will personally command the angel not to help you. Because you're under embargo. Embargo means that the, the moment a, a, a nation decided that a particular nation has erred and refused to back down, they place an embargo on that nation. You, you are economically, you are going down. Economically, you, you are going, you are a goner. That's how it is. The moment you disrespect the church's authority, embargo is placed on you spiritually. That explains why some pastors are suffering. My video is always 20 minutes. When it's 20 minutes exactly, I'm ending it. This this uh, station is to educate the Christian community. 
so that many of them don't follow ignorant uh, ignorant uh, individuals online who don't have spiritual knowledge of scriptures. By the time you get this understanding as a Christian, the way you treat the body of Christ will change. And your relationship with God will improve. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Paul the Apostle mentioned to the Corinthian church, he said, shame to you. You can't judge in little matters between a, a person and a person when you're missed. Do you not know that you will judge the angels? That's what Paul said. So if the church will judge the angels, who are you that they cannot mediate in your case? But they are mediating in your case, both the case you have with another person. You, you stood up, you flew up because you went to school. And because you feel that you have money and you have done some things that everybody can see. You flare up in the midst of the, the, the authorities sitting down and mediating your case. You, you stood up and flare up and start insulting everybody. And uh, you claim spiritual spirituality. <laughs> I doubt this is your spirituality whether there's no legend in it. You walked out on them that day. You, you, you took your children, you, you ordered your wife, you walked out on the, everyone, and you didn't know that you were treading in pure ignorance. You were treading into embargo, spiritual embargo. You were treading an, into a close heaven because the church possesses that authority. Even if they didn't say it with their mouth that you're under embargo, you already come under embargo. Please, find time to follow this, uh, this, this, this channel. You never learn here and remain the same. Click that like, follow, and subscribe button. Your spiritual life will improve. I'm, I'm telling you, God has, God has dealt with us. God has dealt with us both mercifully and mercilessly. That's why we can't, share, we can't tell you a lie here now. We are not hungry. We are not begging for money. We are not begging for monetization. But we have vowed with our life that we will tell the Christian community the truth. Please, just to end this message, just like the court is the highest physical authority in a working democracy, no leader is above it. That's how the church is the, spiritual, the greatest spiritual authority on earth. Not Satan. Not demons, not uh, 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 not a secret society, nothing. The church is the highest spiritual authority on earth, and they are constituted by not angels, human beings like us. They may not be beautiful, handsome, beautiful. They may not even have money. They, their English may be mutilated English. It doesn't matter. What matters is that there is a power and authority that is backing them. Just like when you go to a court of the law court, you might see the judge to be a dwarf. The judge sitting on that hallowed table may be a dwarf. He may be a one-eyed man. He may look ugly like monkey. But those features don't matter. What matters is that he possesses the authority that will tame you. He possesses authority that will bring a governor, a leader of any rank and file to order. That's the power the judge possesses. That's the power the lawyers possess. That is how it is spiritually. There's a physical authority. There's a spiritual authority. The church occupies the spiritual authority on earth. Blogger, if you have been educated, next time we are talking about the church, talk about it with some rainbow of respect and introspection. Because you might come under a divine embargo. Thank you. Please follow us on YouTube. We're there. My name is Pen Corner. First of God bless you.